up dead guys. Inam the Kano is said to be freed by Tinubu. This is interesting. And uh, believe in me, uh, Southeasterners, they are really very happy. You know, the way their leaders have actually pushed it right now. Thank God they have waken up from their slumber. We just pray God that they, they stand on this. I I always tell us that uh, this issue of agitations in the Southeast, it don't come up from Mazin and the Kano and the Simon Ekpa hand, you understand. So if the uh, Nigerian government uh, release Mazin and the Kano tomorrow and other agitators who have been prisoned by uh, President Muhammad Buhari and this current president as well, if they release every one of them and they did not look into the issues that you know gave birth to these agitations in the southeast it will continue it will just be a wasted effort so the government should be able to look into the roots of agitations in the southeast region so if you won't kill um okay make it and say they you won't bring down a tree Make sure, say, you you go through the roots as well, so that the roots, the tree, will not come up again. You understand? Now the Kano was detained again by the federal government in Kenya. That was in 2021. And he was extraordinary rendition to Nigeria to face charges related to terrorism or whatever. The South East Senators have employed President Bola Tinubu to order the release of Nandi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, who is now in detention. The lawmakers, led by Senator Enyin Naya Abaribe, ascertained that the social and economic life of the South East will remain stagnant unless Kanu is freed. The Senators handed their letter to President Tunubu regarding Kanu's release during a private meeting with Latif, the Attorney General of the Federation, in uh, preparation for its being forwarded to the head of state. Speaking on behalf of his colleagues, I'm talking about Abaribe, Senator Enyinaya Abaribe. He addressed reporters immediately following the meeting and bemoaned the fact that the region's social life and economy had already suffered enough as a result of the agitator for the Biafra nation's ongoing imprisonment. Abari Bay expressed extreme concern that the arrested IPOB leader's peaceful appeal has been co-opted by thugs and seasoned criminals resulting in the senseless murder of innocent people, including security personnel. The former deputy governor of Abia State informed the media that he had already met with Kano on Monday at the Department of State Service DSS headquarters in Abuja, and that Kano had consented to follow any release restrictions. Senator Abaribe voiced hope that if Kanu is freed, the hostilities and tensions surrounding the area after he was placed under DSS custody in 2021 will eventually become a thing of the past. Therefore, the senators begged the AGF to utilize its position to use its influence to have President Tinubu hear their message and to drop all charges the federal government had brought against the IPOP leader. Abaribe added that practically all political officials, religious leaders and stakeholders agreed that Kano must be released in order for the, free, for the region to experience peace once more. This includes the senators. The federal government Rearrested Kano in Kenya. Can I say? Can I say? Adopted Kano in Kenya. That was 2021, and sent him there to stand trial for act of terrorism. Despite his plea of not guilty to the allegations, he was not admitted to the federal court in Abuja by Justice Binta Inyako, based on the claim that he breached the last bill when Senator Abaribe served 
as is a guarantee. Since then, Nandi Kano has been under DSS custody by the Federal High Court of Abuja's uh, directives. Don't also forget that uh, this uh, October 2022, October 13th, the Federal uh, High Court also, you know, uh, discharged and acquitted the IPOB leader by the government of Muhammad Buhari, you know, uh, paid for stay of execution. Okay. They said Mazen Namdi Kano must not go. They are not done with him. You understand? So till today, Namdi Kano has been in detention. So right now, this is a kind of uh, a very strong issue now before President Bola Maitinobu led Nigerian government because they, all the Southeast leaders are now on his neck that Mazen Namdi Kano must be released. A few days ago, uh, the younger brother of uh, the former Ekete state governor, Isaac Fayeshe, said uh, jubilations on the way that Mazen Namdi Kano will soon, be, will soon be released. He also thanked President Bola Metunobu. He said he got that information for a reliable source that the government is set to release the IPOB leader very soon. So let's see how it goes. Mazen Namdi Kano will be appearing in court uh, by September, yes. We just hope that from now till September, uh, Mazen Namdi Kano would be released and all that. So guys, uh, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.